Raw as the athlete, ultra marathon runner, health pioneer, fruit lover, lifestyle consultant, motivational speaker, running on fruit to save the world one banana at a time. Today's emotional health tip is I'm going to talk about what are emotions and what should we do about that. Emotions, to me, I feel like emotions are just messages from our body saying, I'd like your attention. There's something that I'd like, you know, something needs to change a little bit. And uh, I don't think we ever feel emotions for, every, I think every emotion that we feel is worth addressing. They're, they should never be ignored. So it, our body gives us that message, that emotion, it surfaces for a reason. So ignore them at great peril. Um, basically, <coughs> what should we do about emotions? If a lot of people fear emotions, I see them as great opportunities for growth. Like it's like you're getting told, you're getting pointed in the right direction of how to grow. So it's a pretty cool thing. I think emotions are amazing. I, I love feeling emotion. A lot of people feel that they get frustrated because they don't understand their emotions. They feel lost. They feel confused. They have all these emotions about emotions. But I, th I think it, it gave me some peace of mind when I realized that I don't need to solve my emotions. I don't need to understand them. All I need to do is experience them. I just need to feel them. I need to allow them to process. And being well rested is going to help me to do that. Taking some quiet time alone, in a, you know, a quiet space in nature, some beautiful environment where I'm really relaxed and in, in a peaceful state, meditation time. Sometimes I can even do it while I'm, while I'm ultra marathon running. I, I often process a lot of things during that, that space. But at the end of the day, you just need to experience the emotion, not fear them, know that they'll pass, know that the current moment is not going to last forever, whatever, however the emotion feels. Don't see an emotion as a negative and a positive emotion. They're all positive. They're all helping you to grow. So just because you feel sadness or frustration or anger or guilt or whatever you may feel, heal those emotions and, and they, will, they will pass and you'll work through it. And some are more intense than others. It's not always easy, but emotions should generally, once you get the hang of this, emotions should be generally short-lived. They should just last typically for minutes. Um, but there, there, will be, there will be some emotions that will catch you off guard with, um, with situations that you've not experienced before in your life. So they may take a little bit longer, but just don't fear your emotions. Don't fear your emotions. Don't escape from your emotions. Acknowledge that they're there to help you, that they're going to help you to grow and become a better person, and that once you experience your emotions, you'll be a better person at the end of the day. So that's today's tip, a little bit about emotions. I hope you have a magnificent day. Stay tuned for the next exciting adventure with Raw Aussie Athlete. Here, Raw Aussie Athlete reveals secrets from the depths of the galaxy. Watch Raw Aussie Athlete on his valiant and chivalrous pursuits, surrendering to the noble values of honesty, openness, and integrity, and to the timeless traits of truth, justice, and the 80-10-10 way. How will his life unfold? Which mountain will he next conquer? Where will his heart lead him? Will he find true love? Join Raw Aussie Athlete on his bold, fortuitous journey to unleash passion and purpose upon the universe and beyond. Like, subscribe, visit, add, and follow Raw Aussie Athlete.